Uh, welcome to this video uh, demonstrating ultrasound guided uh, injection of corticosteroids and uh, hyaluronic acid uh, for ankle and subtalar joint osteoarthritis. This patient had been suffering uh, worsening pain for at least a couple of years. As we can see here, I'm doing ankle injection first, uh, visualizing a nice clear uh, access point to the ankle. Uh, here I'm taking an anterior lateral approach. Uh, her osteoarthritis was certainly uh, more pronounced to the medial aspect and the joint line was more closed on that side. First of all, we have uh, some local anesthetic and corticosteroid injected. And then we, here I'm beginning to fill the tube with the hyaluronic acids using the brand Austinil, which is my preference. I like to use a connecting tube for these. Uh, it certainly makes the injection slightly, slightly easier. And then I'm just you know, flushing the line uh, with some local anesthetic uh, just to make sure all the hyaluronic acid is injected into the ankle joint. And that is the first injection done in real time. Minimal pain. Uh, I apply a dressing to that one. And then we can begin with injection number two. So I have a, a fresh, fresh line and uh, fresh syringes, antiseptic before and between each procedure. You have to remember with these these lines to fill the line before you begin the injection. So the line is filled with local anaesthetic. Uh, so we have about a mil or mil and a half of anaesthetic. That's the first that's injected. It certainly makes the injection more comfortable. Here we, I'm filling the line with the corticosteroids. In this case, I'm using Depamedrone. Uh, tends to be my preference. And this is the Ostanil or hyaluronic acid. And so we begin to fill the line here. And this injection is going into uh, the subtalar joint via the sinus tarsi. And this is certainly the easiest way of performing subtalar joint injections. And again, we flush the line with some local anesthetic. Uh, most of this doesn't go in into the patient's ankle, just clears the line. The trick with this is you can feel the pressure of the thicker hyaluronic acid going through the 25 gauge needle. And once that gives, you feel a, all of a sudden it gives and you know that all the hyaluronic acid is, is through the line. And again, trouble with these safety needles, sometimes they're not easy to clip on and about a third of them break off. Dressing again on the second injection site. I always do a little bit of manipulation here just to get them, get the ankle joints, subtalar joints moving. I think it's really important. I encourage the patient to do this themselves over the next uh, 48 hours, even if they have some stiffness and pain. It certainly helps that relieve that. Thank you for watching.